Greetings everyone and welcome to this new video on how to perform a Pearson Sky Square test in R. First of all, we'll start by loading some useful libraries, the Tidios, GE Stacks Plot, Summary Tools and GT Summary Libraries. And I have provided brief descriptions on how these are helpful. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll be loading a data set on cats who have been given some sort of training and whether they learn to dance or not. So I have already loaded this data set from my computer, import this data set and this is the, how the data set looks like. So this first column stands for the cat ID, so to speak. Second column stands for whether the cats were given food as a reward after training or affection as a reward. And the last column indicates whether the cat learned to dance or not. The attach function helps us to attach a data frame so that we can call the each variable directly. Now, we would first like to get uh, an overview of our data and how it looks like. So to do that, we'll use the df summary function from the summary tools package and we'll store the results in an object sum and this is useful because we can use the view function to view our exploratory data analysis for this data set. The view function is uh, included in the summary tools package itself. We also will get an idea of the how, how many missing data points we have and we don't have any missing data that is great. So Prima Facey, we can see that 76 cats or 38 percent have learned to dance, uh, 124 cats haven't. We can see that 38 cats were given food as a reward and 162 cats were given affection as a reward. Now, we want to test whether the type of training, affection or food, has an effect on whether the cats have learned to dance or not. So, we'll be using a Pearson Sky Square test for this purpose. Before running a Sky Square test, it is important to fulfill certain assumptions. And the most important assumption would be that the expected value of each of these cells should be greater than or equal to 5 and it is 80% of the cells of the contingency table. So in the contingency table, we can get a contingency table like so using the table function included in the base R package and we can see that in each of these cells no value is less than 5. So we are good to go, we are good to run a chi square test. If any of these values would have been less than 5 then we would have had to use Fisher's exact test or if the total sample size was also less we would have had to use the Fisher exact test. All the variables are categorical, this assumption is met, all observations are independent, this observation is also met, cells in the table are mutually exclusive, this assumption is also met. Now we run a chi squared test using the chi sq dot test function and there is since it's a chi squared test there is no directionality involved either of these two variables can be placed one before the other. So we will run the test and we'll see what p value you're getting it is highly statistically significant it is less than 0 0.001. So that means that the type of training had an effect on whether the cats learn to dance or not. And we can actually visualize these results using the ggstatsplot package. And inside this package, we can run either the ggbarstats function or ggpystats, depending upon how you want to visualize data, how you want to present data. Both of these functions, both of these type of plots are totally acceptable. So we will use this function, we'll store the plot in an object and we'll print this plot and 
very unique thing about the GG stats plot package is that it will give you a comprehensive data analysis, including effect size. So Kramer's V is the effect size for chi square test. It will give you this comprehensive analysis inside a single plot. So this is extremely useful for it, especially for posters where you want to where space is of the essence and you need to present your results in as little space as possible. So we can see that the chi-square test p-value is less than 0 0.001, which we have seen. The effect size Kramer's effect size is large. And we can see that those who were given affection as a reward, like a lot of them have learned to dance. And we can visualize these exact same results using a pie chart. So a pie chart will actually give you the same result, but the visualization is different. The statistics are exactly the same. And we can see that those who were given affection as a reward, a large percentage have learned to dance. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.